YouTube, what is going on today, guys? It is Mike here to bring you guys all a brand new YouTube video today. Today, guys, is day 148, week 22, I believe. I'm not 100% sure on that. Um, guys, yesterday was very hard again. Um, I've had a whole new light today, guys. I have been a little bit way more focused today. Um, and I'll tell you guys in just a second what kind of happened and what I kind of did today, um, kind of early this morning, probably that 11 or 12 o'clock today. Uh, it was really quite amazing what happened and it just, I'll get to that in one second. Um, but I, you know, I, yesterday was really, I, I'm sorry, probably the past seven days since last Thursday. I don't even think that's been seven days. I think that's just been about almost four or five days. Um, there has been a lot, I'll just kind of explain to you guys I've had a fever, headaches, uh, joint inflammation, heart pain, uh, lymphatic problems right here, like it felt like my food wasn't digesting, um, you know, dry mouth, dehydration, I still have dehydration by the way, and fever, um, and very itchy skin by the way, sorry, just itching my skin, just kind of realized what I was having. Um, and that was, you know, a lot of stress too. I've had a lot of stress these past five days um, that I should have not ever brought upon myself, but I did. And it, you know, just sometimes that happens and I just need to let it go. Um, but it's kind of hard because you can't really escape your stress because you're kind of stuck in a house, sick, you're not feeling good all day. Um, you can't really drive to get away from it, to take your mind off of things. It's really kind of hard. It's very, uh, you kind of really have to do things to distract yourself. Um, but anyways, I woke up this morning uh, about 8.30. I, I've still been waking up great time by the way. I'm still very amazing. I, I can't believe how early I'm still waking up. I thought for sure my sleeping patterns would have been shot way off course um, through these past five days, but they didn't. They they held very strong, um, and I'm you know I still salute myself to that for my body doing that. Um, but I woke up. And, uh, you know, I kind of said a little prayer today with my mom. I said, listen, I, I have to rife something, Lyme disease, Q fever, it doesn't matter what I need to rife. Um, I just need to do it and to just really see what I can do uh, to really just kind of, because I wasn't, I wasn't doing the adrenal one. I really thought, it, it, I don't think, when you kind of kill something off for so long and then it's kind of, you have your symptoms come back and you need to keep doing the kill off one to have that upper power. And that's how I felt. Um, it didn't, it doesn't really bring you down at that point. So I prayed about it and it came back to me, um, full power, ricticia and Q fever, um, for one minute. And, uh, I, I ended up doing that, um, about 11 o'clock, I think 1130. I just couldn't take it anymore. I was so stressed out all day. Um, really just in a really bad funk, still waking up. I was still heat flashes, fevers were really high. Um, and I finally ended up doing it. And probably in the first 30 minutes, I was relieved. I was actually smiling. I actually just had a very great, overwhelming feeling of just like relief kind of from my head. Um, but then all of a sudden, something kind of did happen along the way. Um, for some reason, I think I got a little bit scared because I was eating food. I was eating my lunch. And then the lymphatic kind of got clogged up a little bit. And that's happened before. So I immediately came up here and did the 1565. Um, and I have been doing really great actually I've have had almost a pretty um not a perfect day but it's been very it's been very amazing um just kind of the relief I've had um but for, for those guys for those of you who don't know what 1565 is it's kind of a healing it's the stabilize the balance of well-being and it really just it brings you to a um it just relaxes the body um, it's kind of like taking a, uh, a Benadryl. Um, a lot of people have kind of said it just calms you down. It really brings you down. Um, and that's kind of what it does. It really just kind of puts you in a pretty good mood. Um, but I definitely think the Q fever and ricticia definitely had a lot to do with kind of the relief today. Um, but I'm still not 100%. I'm still very hot still. I've had to have an ice pack on me already. I'm itchy like crazy, but I'm actually able to talk and kind of have a little bit of energy. Um, to kind of do and talk. Uh, I've actually been able to take a shower today, which I haven't for the past two days. It's been really hard to really get up the stairs and kind of do that without being really hot afterwards and just not really feeling good. Um, but I was talking to my parents today um, and we were just kind of talking back and forth like a discussion because I haven't been able to really talk for about five days because I've just been such in a weird place. Um, and we were talking and they, I, all of a sudden it was really weird, but my skin right here, I, I wore a tank top for a reason, but all right here, got very like itchy all of a sudden like my whole body was just completely itching 
um, and I was very kind of scared because I like just all my arm was red. Um, it was really weird for a second. It was kind of like a hive breakout, but it wasn't. It went away in like a minute, um, but I was really itchy. I don't know if that was just the fever. It's really hard to determine what this fever is doing right now because I am extremely still hot. Um, I, I just don't know what, what it's doing. I don't know if it's just a hormonal problem um, from me stopping the Q fever because I didn't have that at all. I just had the dehydration. Uh, it's just really hard to kind of pinpoint what's wrong at this point, but I hope it's doing good. I hope the fever is breaking stuff down at least or something, um, but it's really it's really hard to determine. But like I said, guys, I, uh, I have been very, I've been very calm today. I've been very, I can kind of control myself. I can just kind of lay down and just relax instead of freaking out, having to take a cold bath every time I just get too hot. Um, but I think tomorrow I'm really going to start with the Lyme disease. I'm going to go back to kind of my initial kind of thing that I was doing. And that was that I was going to do the Q fever. I'm sorry, the Lyme disease first, then the Q fever and Ricticia. And if that doesn't really work out as well, I'm just going to do the 1565 and kind of restart. But I, I hope I hope it just doesn't go as wrong as I think it will. Um, I did that pro protocol for a while and it worked out really amazing. I was talking to people again and I was really, I had that kind of life, but then when I stopped and I had like a little bit of a herx and I think it kind of jolted me a little bit. Um, it really, I just, you know, like I said, guys, I, I'm gambling on this. Um, I've just tried to go the best I can with what I've got um, at low minutes, by the way, I'm not going to do it at high minutes. I'm not going to do it for five minutes. I'm just going to do it for a minute. Uh, let my body just kind of build back up again and just really do it. Um, but as you guys see though, I'm still very itchy, um, which is pretty weird um, because I've just, I've been hydrated. I've been drinking almost a gallon of water a day. Um, it's just really weird. It's really, it's kind of a very weird symptom, but like I said, guys, I will let you guys go, but I hope you guys are having a great day. Um, please keep praying for me, guys. I hope I can just kind of get out of this funk and just to continually keep going up and up uh, the ladder and just to kind of get better. So I will leave this with you guys today and I hope you guys have a great day and I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Take it easy, guys. Bye-bye.